Hey YouTube, it's SMC iPod Pro, and just recently uh, Snow Breeze was released, which is the new jailbreak for the um, any device on 3.1.2 firmware. Um, there already was a release of Black Rain, which jailbroke it, um, but this newest one allows you to edit um, your boot logos. So, um, what you're going to want to do to start out, if you have your device already jailbroken, I would recommend backing up all your files by going to apt backup apt or downloading apt backup. It's called it's spelled apt backup. Um, that's in Cydia. Um, from there, you can um, back up all of your Cydia applications, which is a very um, helpful tool for once you are real re jailbroken. Um, so then, in the side description, I have a few links. The first link is going to bring you to this page. You're going to want to download your firmware, so you can scroll down. I have the iPod Touch 2nd Gen 3.1.2. You click that, click download, download that file. Next one you're going to want to download is Red Snow, so I already have that downloaded, so I'm going to open that up. Alright. Alright, so once this opens up, you're going to want to browse for the firmware which you just downloaded. Um, so mine's on the desktop, like I said. You can click on it, it's going to process that. And it comes up and it says, is this an MC model of the iPod, uh, iPod Touch 2G? What this is actually asking is, is it a third generation iPod Touch? You would know if yours is um, by checking in your settings, like it says. Or if you just know, did you buy the device as of or after September of last year? The, if it is, it's a third generation iPod Touch, and your jailbreak will be a little different than any other device. Um, it's going to um, have it tethered. So once your device is jailbroken, if your iPod ever is shut down completely, um, in order to power it back on, you're going to have to open it up on the computer, plug it into the computer, and run the program to repower it on, um, which is kind of a pain. But if you don't power it off, it's not uh, the end of the world. Um, so if you do have this MC model, hit click yes. If not, hit no. So I'm going to hit no. And then next on here, and it's going to do a little bit of um, stuff with the firmware. You're going to want to have your iPod plugged in for this segment, so plug it in via USB. Um, once it gets to the next step, it's going to give you a few options. You can install Cydia. If this is the first time you jailbroken it, like if you have a restored device right now, um, you can install Cydia and do it that way. Um, I do not. I'm already jailbroken. And what this Veriboost, um boot will do is if you don't want to do like the whole jailbreak if you just want to add a um, boot logo and stuff this is how you do it so check that I'm gonna check a boot logo um, boot logos can be made yourself um, the pixels have to be 320 by 480 or you can download them off um, websites or something like that so I got mine off modmyeye.com so I highly recommend that um, so I'm just gonna browse for it um, boot logo. Alright, one second. It needs to be compressed a little. Oh, yeah, sorry. I clicked the wrong one. Uh, I'm doing the classic Apple drip. Okay. So I got the boot logo uh, set up, and I'm going to click next. And it's going to say connect your device to your computer. Press both the home and power buttons simultaneously. So hold up. Simultaneously until the help message disappears. So what you're going to want to do is hold your power and home button until it goes into the recovery mode. Um, in which case it'll show the um, USB plug. So I'll just keep holding them. Keep holding. Still holding. <laughs> there we go. Now you can let go. 
and now it's going to start the jailbreak so it says downloading jailbreak data shouldn't take too long alright it says it's done so I take it it's just gonna reboot right now Still says download in jailbreak data. I'll just click finished on uh, red snow. Alrighty, there it goes. It's doing a little bit more. It doesn't look like it has too much left. There it says rebooting. Let's see if my boot logo is up. And there it is. That's my custom boot logo. It's going to run through some files right now. Take it, this is just part of the jailbreak. There we go, and I'm back to my slide to unlock. So I'll do that. And I still have everything on here. Um, but now I just have my boot logo, so let me quick power it down and power it on, and I'll see if you can see it. There we go, so it's powered on, and yeah, that has my custom boot logo and yeah it's starting up so um, yeah that's how you do the uh, jailbreak for the 3.1.2 um, yeah please don't forget to uh, rate this video five stars and please subscribe to my channel uh, so once again thanks for watching